ready. Hallelujah. Earth, hallelujah. We've had 900 tornadoes since the first day here. Philly is full of spirit. graduated from seminary at Harvard, I have a Master of Divinity, and I was rejected for ordination. Oh. I, uh, when I went to seminary, I thought that we were called to fight on behalf of justice, and I moved into a housing project in Roxbury, where I ran a small church and commuted into Cambridge to go to school at Harvard. Uh, and I soon found that institutions, uh, especially the church, <laughs> like the poor, but they don't like the smell of the poor. Oh, yeah. it all about empowering all sorts of people they never met. And that kind of hypocrisy, hypocrisy soured me uh, both on the institutional church and on the seminary itself. Uh, it was a time uh, in the early 80s when fascist regimes were rising throughout Latin America, the dirty war in Argentina, mm -hmm. uh, Pinochet in Chile, uh, uh, Rios Montt in Guatemala, oh, yes. uh, the death squads in El Salvador oh, yeah. were killing yeah. between <laughs> 700 and 1,000 people a month. And I felt, as someone who was a writer and committed to justice, that that's where I belong. And they asked me what my call was. <laughs> and if I had been a good seminarian, I would have told them that that was to become the assistant pastor of a Presbyterian church in northern Massachusetts or something. Uh, and instead I told him that I was going to El Salvador to be a freelance reporter to cover the war. And there was a long silence and the uh, head of the committee said, we don't ordain journalists. <laughs> My deep regret is that committee is not here tonight. <laughs> about why I went to, into journalism and listening to Chris talk about what he had as his motivation. You talked about conversing. I thought that's what journalism was about. Mm -hmm. um, and I, as a journalist, went to Northern Ireland and I went to uh, Central America and I went to the Middle East and I ended up going to Rwanda. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went to also uh, West Virginia mm -hmm. for the Pittston strike. Mm -hmm. And my job, I thought, was to listen. And to hear what people had to say, and there was a media is a is a shared a plural noun, mm. right? Mm. It's a collaborative process. Uh, we go, we listen. There's a pact made. We promise something. We promise to tell that story. Mm. And when I came back that last time from Rwanda, it was worse than it ever been. Middle mm. 90s. Wow. When I came back with that story, I couldn't really fulfill the promise. I couldn't really tell the story because nobody wanted to listen. For a preaching the freedom of speech. Free speech. Yeah. For a preaching the freedom of press. Free press. For the right of the people peacefully to assemble. Free people. Petition the government for free press of grievances. Free press. When we're here tonight, we thought of having uh, Laura and Chris as our saints tonight because we really, we're, 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 we're coming to the end of our 22 Sundays and, and uh, we're going to take the Earth Alleluia worship show to Europe now. And we, 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 feel, we, feel, we feel that we want to wrap up the, the broadest themes 
What do we come to in this experimental church? What, what do we come to understand together yeah. in this strange conversation that we're having in these, this series of songs and made-up rituals? And believing in our hearts that somehow, somehow we've got to be able to go down to the village commons and shout, Emergency! Yes. The earth! Yes. The earth! There's too much heat in the atmosphere. Yeah. Stop that coal-fired power plant now! Yeah. How did that basic story? That's a basic story. It's a quick story. It's the emergency story. We need a planet crier now on every corner. We need to be able. We need to be able to to walk up to each other and say, "Okay, now's the time for action." And that's 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 a completion of a story. You see, that's a, that's the completion of a story. That story has a, a moat through cut through it right now by somebody who's very strategic. You know, being in the stop shopping church for 12 years, we think it's corporate marketing. We think that thousands of corporate marketing events are exploding in our brains every day, and then and, and that there are strategical amnesia patterns that we have that, that come down into us that are consciously placed here. Almost like cybernetic add-ons or something. We think maybe, maybe much more conscious and strategic from Coca-Cola and McDonald's and you know, all the rest of them. And then we realize. But we are unable in New York City, we are really unable to go down to the corner and shout action. We get arrested right away. All right. But we also just don't listen to each other. Doesn't somehow what we do doesn't impact the climate? Come on, people. Come on, people. I feel it inside me right now. Do you feel the climate inside you right now? Stand up, everybody. Put your arms in the air. Do you feel the climate inside you right now? Do you feel the weather inside you right now? Up through the roof. Up into the sky. Up around the yard. Up in the jet stream. sense of humor, the underlying message is this, and it's very, very serious. 